them notice the course. This is no place to run into technical trouble. That's exactly what happened to Boeing Starliner, 400 kilometers above Earth, attached to the International Space Station, and stuck there for now. And you really don't want things to go wrong uh, in that kind of uh, extreme environment. Starliner's first crew was all smiles when they docked at the space station in early June. We're just happy as can be to be up in space. But this week, NASA announced it's delaying their return to Earth until at least June 26th. Starliner has suffered four helium leaks and five failures of its thrusters. NASA wants time to figure out what's wrong. We want to give our teams a little bit more time to look at the data, do some analysis and make sure we're really ready to come home. That means Starliner will spend at least 20 days in orbit for what was supposed to be just a five-day mission, rocketing up the embarrassment for the beleaguered Boeing and its troubled space program. Let's get going. The launch of this mission was scrubbed multiple times by technical problems. In 2019, the first uncrewed Starliner flight failed to reach proper orbit. The whole program is over a year behind schedule and $1.5 billion over budget. I think what we're really seeing with the difficulties Boeing is having um, relative to SpaceX, uh, the problem is they've lost a lot of capability. PMA 2 into Starliner. The good news? The problems don't impact the parts of Starliner needed for the perilous re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. And the ship could theoretically spend up to 45 days in space if problems persist. Those delays are really a problem for the engineers back on Earth. For the astronauts, it means a little more time to sit back and enjoy the view. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Washington.